All right, everybody, welcome back to our standard test location here, Gate Delta 26 in Miami. Uh, here today, uh, I've got the weather, live weather turned off just to uh, just to keep things equal because it started raining a little bit when I was doing some testing. Here again in the uh, PMDG 737-800, uh, this is DX11. I haven't turned on DX11 in... in a bit now because uh, DX12 has been working so well and I figured I'd take a look and see if uh, you know what the comparison was now between the two um, I am running a uh, 12,700k which is stock no overclock uh, also running a uh, 3080 Ti which is stock with no overclock as well and as you can see, we're getting uh, about 40, 41, 42 frames per second here outside the aircraft. 23, 24, 22, 23, 24 milliseconds there in main thread uh, latency. And we've got uh, the limited by main thread message, which of course we're all very familiar with. Um, so we'll keep an eye on those numbers. Now let's go inside the aircraft. Um, and we've got, let's see, about 37 here, um, 38, and 24, 25, 26. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking at here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, restart in DX12, and we'll see what the performance is we get then. Be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Here we're now in DX12, um, and remember we were getting about 40 to 42 frames, I think it was, um, in this outside view here, and yeah, pretty much I'm in mean, 42 stable, and uh, 21, 22 on the main thread. Uh, and then we go inside the aircraft here, and let's see, we were getting 37 to 39, I think, before. Um, good 38 and a half stable, 39 stable, and yeah, 23 to 25, which is slightly lower than it was in uh, in the X11. And uh, for my money. Um, I like the X12. Um, it's been running just fine for me, and personally, I kind of think that if it's running okay, like if the X11 was running significantly better, I would run that. It's not. So, um, for me, uh, in Sim Update 14, I'm definitely going with uh, with the X12. Again, it's it's sort of six and one and a half dozen the other. I think the X12 is smoother though. Like, I noticed in, in some of my head movements, uh, I'm using uh, track IR5, in some of the head movements in um, DX11, it, it's a little bit kind of jittery, jerky, whereas in DX12 it's not. So my personal opinion is DX12 is the winner in some update 14. That's what I've been using. Uh, like I said, I haven't switched back to DX11 in probably since I started uh, in the in the sim update 14 beta, and I really don't intend on going back. So uh, there's a, a straight DX12 DX11 comparison, and uh, DX12 is the winner in sim update 14. Hope you guys are doing well.